Meet Big Mike. Big Mike is a bow hunter. Big Mike practices with his bow while standing. Like most bow hunters, Big Mike has a difficult time moving and shooting accurately while sitting on a chair in a typical ground blind. The solution? The Big Mike blind from Baronet Blinds. Big Mike is a hub blind that's easy to move and set up, and once popped open, Big Mike stands tall enough for archers to shoot while standing. Learn more about the Big Mike blind at baronetblinds.com. I really felt like if we stuck it out around here that uh, this bird would come out here and strut where we'd been seeing him. A friend of mine uh, told me that he'd come up here to check the field and seen this bird strut, and I want to thank Brian for, for uh, you know, uh, mentioning it because he, he seen this bird, he calls me and says, hey, there's a strutter out here. I appreciate it, Brian. Let's go check this bird out. Oh man, I never, oh, I'm gonna tell you something. I just can't believe how hard we worked for this bird. I, Bill, I can't thank you enough, man, because you stuck it out with me and, and uh, now it's time to get you a bird, but man, I'm proud of him. He got about a, oh, he's maybe nine, 10 inch beard. He's a little bit younger bird. Spurs ain't quite sharp, but you know what? This late in the game, beggars can't be choosers, and I am well, well, I just, I'm ecstatic about this bird, so. Let me tell you something, that hen was five yards in front of the blind, and I thought, man, this is going to be up close and personal, and all of a sudden, I seen something move up here on the hill, and then God was standing on top of the hill. Man. Oh, my goodness. This is what it's all about, folks. I just want to say <clears throat> the success of this bird was the persistence. We just stuck it out. I mean, we just had the determination to say, hey, we're just going to go to the last minute until, you know, either the time ran out or we killed a bird. And that's what paid off. We was frustrated. There's a lot of other people that's been frustrated. I've been calling around asking people, hey, what's working? What's doing? What are they doing? You know, what's working for you guys? And you know, I've heard a lot of the same stories, you know, the hens are with the birds and, you know, they're not wanting to work very well, which is the case with this guy. This is what happened today. Our whole situation changed. We knew the hen was with the bird. We basically put the tom decoy out of the, situ out of the equation, put the two hens up, did not even call. We let them birds work up into the strutting area where they like to strut. We knew that they was up here. We knew that they, we know that they like it, so... That's what paid off for us today. So uh, I just want to encourage you that if one strategy's not working for you, call around, ask some people that's killing some turkeys, and uh, or maybe you know assess the situation. Maybe you know change your setup like we did, and hopefully you're you'll be able to knock knock that bird down for yourself. Uh, I just want to say you're watching Wild Reality TV. Thanks for watching. I think most hunters would agree when it comes right down to it, it's not how many ducks you have shot, how long the beard is on the turkey you've taken, how big the buck was that you was able to harvest that drives us from season to season. Instead, it's a sense of accomplishment, that feeling of success.